Okay, so here we are up at your studio space. <laughs> this <laughs> is awesome. Happy place. Yeah, totally. Thank you so much for letting us come and have a, a sneak peek up here. This is pretty awesome. Of course. Uh, just wondering, do you always start out your paintings with a vis vision in mind? Yeah. Um, definitely. I like having, you know, something to to hold my attention and to just build on and something that's meaningful. Mm -hmm. Like I got, I need to paint meaningful things for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like one of these deep meaning, you know, searching type people. But, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so definitely having a purpose and actually I will do a ton of research, but it looks like I'm doing nothing. Like <laughs> I'll just like, I'll be reading books. I'll be like, just reading articles, looking at images, buying. I have a bit of a book addiction, I have to admit. Um, and so, yeah, just gathering a lot of information over the months that I'm not painting. And it's like filing it away in there. And then um, perhaps something will just really hit me in a deeper level that I'm like, wow, okay, this is something that just feels really authentic to where I'm at right now. And so then I'll just kind of... So that interview with Jack Cornfield was one that I mm -hmm. thought, okay, this is kind of a, a transitional point in my life. And I tend to do a lot of my art about transitions, I guess. I just realized that. <laughs> but like, you know, coming into a new phase mm -hmm. or something like that or overcoming something. And it's like, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what it's about. So yeah, celebrating the joy and the growth and um, just, you know, just the... The richness of life, I guess, and mm -hmm. all of its colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, that was kind of a really long-winded explanation. But yes, I do have a focus, and then it helps me. Uh, like I'll take tons and tons of notes. But then when the painting comes, it's pretty much that all goes to pot, and it's just kind of what's happening. <laughs> like sometimes in there, but you know, I don't really know what it's going to look like a lot of the times. Mm. I'll just start mark making, and from there, it's a very intuitive process. And, um, and I just, essentially I'm responding to what I'm seeing on the canvas and then, okay, what's going to work there? Okay. That shape here, you know, you know, this is a larger shape. I'm going to have a medium. I'm going to have a small shape. I'm going to have like, does this feel right with the colors? Like what's going to represent that emotion or that, that place that I'm at exact, like in this moment. Mm -hmm. So each painting is very immediate to what that moment is about. Mm. And I often do them in one sitting, but sometimes I'll like do three or four at a time. And then just kind of, if I get stuck, or I th <laughs> I'm often really scared that I'm going to overdo it. Mm. There's a, I think any, any painter knows that there's a point <laughs> where you're like, okay, yes, oh, it's looking all right. And then you're like, God damn it. Okay, <laughs> now I just ruined it. But you know, so it's kind of, it's like that same thing. Um, not going too far because I, I am a person that really values the negative space mm. in the work. So mm -hmm. I like the white space around it or whatever my background color is. And um, so that can be like, ooh, it gets my heart going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, and I have to move fast because my paints dry really fast. Yeah, you must. I acrylic yeah. inks, I mm -hmm. use a lot of, okay. and they dry very fast. Okay. So I have to work. I don't have time to think. Like you just got, you just got to do it and just kind of hope for the best, and then work with what's happening. And do you and have your color working. palette laid out prior to starting your painting? Or Oftentimes you I will. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I've noticed in the last number of years, I do have a color palette I'm drawn to, mm -hmm. <laughs> quite bright and vibrant. This year I had a lot of um, peaches and earth, kind of grab you know like it's called antelope okay. brown but it's like a green when you spread it mm -hmm. and yeah some earth tones and then I always have um like rich blues and so yeah I think like most artists you kind of have your color palette that mm -hmm. you really are comfortable with mm -hmm. and that's so yeah I like a lot of vibrancy I like a lot of happiness and joy and mm -hmm. I, I don't like I don't tend to work very much in dark colors but I do have dark for contrast but mm -hmm. try and focus on light yeah. and bright well thank you for creating <laughs> all the pieces you do they're definitely 
so joyous to look at and beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thank you so and It's much. just been amazing having them in our gallery. <laughs> and your show is on until this weekend. So this Sunday is the last day, August 2nd. August, I think it's first. Oh, first. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday is the last day. So if you haven't been down to see Connection in Place, make sure you pop in and say hello and see all of Kimberly's beautiful art. Yes, and there's a whole bunch of other artists in there too. Yep, and there's <laughs> six, six artists in total. So come and see everybody. <laughs> okay, awesome. thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks yeah. so much for sharing with us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, take care. Bye.